Now, I want to show you real quick um, how we can swap rows. Okay, so I ask you in your homework uh, right here, write a program to perform, perform Gauss elimination, not naive for a system of linear equations. Okay, we have three rules that we can use when we talk about Gauss elimination. We can uh, swap rows, we can multiply rows by a scalar, and we can um, add and subtract rows or, mul or scalar multiples of rows to each other. Now, uh, the reason we can swap rows here is because, you know, say I have a system of linear equations that's, uh, you know, 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 is equal to 4, and I have x1 minus 2x2 plus um, 3x3 is equal to 2, and I have minus x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to minus 3. Then this is my system of linear equations. I can put it in the form ax equals b, okay, where a is the coefficients, okay, a is my coefficients, you know, of this matrix, 1, minus 2, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 1, and my B matrix is these guys, right? So A is just going to be the coefficients, it's going to be 2, 3, 1, and then 1, minus 2, 3, and then minus 1, 1, oops, sorry, minus 1, minus 1, and 1, Okay, so that's A. My X, my X vector is going to be X1, X2, and X3. And then my B vector is going to be 4, 2, minus 3. Now, the reason we can swap rows is because it doesn't really matter, right, if, if I write this expression first or if I write this expression last. It makes no difference, right? Because the system of equations is still going to be the same. So if I, because my x1s, x2s, and x3s are going to be equal to 4, 2, and minus 3, okay? This is our system here, a, x equals b. It doesn't matter at all that I can swap this row. Of course, I got to swap the, the right hand side too. Um, and put it down here, okay, or if I swap this and this and, you know, put it up here. Now when we talk about swapping rows, remember we're talking about the matrix, the combined matrix, okay, where we augment it, okay, so we have the augmented matrix for Gauss elimination is A, B, okay, and that's just like taking that first row, two, three, one, uh, 4, here we've augmented it, and then 1 minus 2, 3, 2, and then minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 3, okay? So, I mean, th if we swap three these here, you know, there's no difference, you know, in swapping these and swapping these, right? I mean, it doesn't matter how we write the three equations in three unknowns. There's no problem with that. So when we talk about swapping rows, that's that's all we're saying is we can swap these around. If we get a zero here for the first element, then we can't use that to get rid of this guy and this guy in Gauss elimination. So we go ahead and swap him to the bottom. All right? So we should be able to take care of that in our programs as well. All right, so we're going to come back here to Octave and we are going to show you how you might swap a row. So let's say I have A, let's say we'll call this S, or matrix, matrix swap MS, make sure that it's not the same thing as any of our other variables. And it's going to be equal to, make it really easy here, one, 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 and then let's do uh, one, two, three, and then four, uh, seven, nine, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna be able to swap the rows, okay? 
So we could say if this first element is zero, then come down here and swap the rows. So here I can say if ms, all right, first of all, you know, we'll say there's a lot of checks we can do, for, but for now, let's just say M, if ms1, comma 1, that's the first row, first element, is equal, equal to 0, okay, then what we want to do is swap. So we'll say um, we'll create another uh, matrix, and we'll call it temp matrix, just for the heck of it, and it will say that it's equal original, initially to ms. So what we're doing is we're going to save a copy of ms into temp matrix. And then there's a command in MATLAB, which is a semicolon, same thing in octave. Um, and let me come down here. I'll say um, A. We'll look at our A matrix. So if we can do A, and we can say first row, okay, comma, and then we do semicolon, that means first row, all columns. If we do A, and then we do all rows, second column, then we get we're going to get this guy. Okay, so A, this is our A here. Let me move this up so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this is our A matrix here, and we're going to say A. Okay, and if we do A one, comma semicolon, close uh, with open and close parentheses, then we say give me the first row all the columns of A and bam there you go now if you say over here you say give me the all the rows in the second column then you get this here and see this is 214 and this is 214 this is all the rows of the second column this is all the columns of the first row okay so what we can do is we can use that and we say oh no the first row is zero. So now we want to say, well, if the first coefficient of the first row of our matrix swap uh, matrix, or whatever you want to call it, maybe we'll just call it M for matrix, okay? So if, uh, so if the first row, then we'll make a temp matrix that's equal to M. So we haven't done anything here. And then what we're going to do is say M first row comma all columns is equal to um, the uh, temp matrix okay so temp matrix is just a copy of M and we're going to say that this is equal to the second row all columns okay and so what we just did is we copied into M the the second row into the first row this says take the first row of m and make it the second row of m which is been assigned to temp matrix but now since we rewrote the first row uh, the first and second rows are going to be the same right here at this time so what we have to do now is put the second row i mean what was originally the the first row um, into the the second row Okay, so we're going to say now put the second row all columns equal to temp matrix and what was in the first row all columns. All we're doing is we take the M matrix, okay, and we make a copy of it into temp matrix so we don't lose it. And then we say the M matrix is equal to this temp matrix first row is equal to the temp matrix second row and the second row is equal to the temp, ma temp matrix first row and what we did is we effectively swapped it and then we do end okay so what we what I want to do here is suppress the output and then down here since this is zero um, this is a zero in the first element what we should see is that the M rows are swapped so I'll come down here, and now I'm going to say new m equals m because we just uh, swapped it. And we didn't do anything with the third row. So let's run this. 
and see what we did. All right. Oh, we have this uh, code here. So let me come down and see how I have this if and then this end statement. I'm going to bring that end statement all the way down to here, which means that all this code is not going to be executed. Okay? Because um, it's previous code, and we're just going to focus on the code we have right here. I'm going to save this and then run it again. All right. <clears throat> oh, this says ms. So we got to change that variable to what we have here. I'm going to run it again. So if we run it, mf. Oh, mf. All right. Run it again. Okay. So we we see here is this is our first row. Okay. This is our second row. And now our second row has been swapped with our first row. So if you want to do a Gauss elimination and you don't want it to be naive for system linear equations and you need to check and make sure that that pivot coefficient is not zero. If it is zero, you should swap the row and use the non-zero pivot coefficient. I'm going to show you how to do some of these same commands in MathCAD. All right, so let's say I'm going to control, uh, create a matrix here. I'm going to say A is equal to control M. So here we're just going to use our matrix tool. Let's say matrix. Three by three, one, two, one, three, four, five, one, minus one, two. Okay, and uh, let's see what the commands are here. I wonder if we can figure out. Um, so I'll say B is equal to B colon equal to do our matrix again. Three by three, we'll do seven, one, seven, two, minus one, seven, five, minus two, oop, minus two, and all right. All right. So now let's take a look at uh, some matrix manipulation things in MathCAD. Now here, what we want to do is we want to calculate the result, and we're going to calculate it as a function. So we're going to say C is our function, and it's going to be a function of A and B. Now I don't worry about the fact that this A is lowercase and this B is lowercase. This is just a way of defining an arbitrary function that takes two arguments. Okay, and we're going to say colon equal, and we're going to come over here and do add line, which gives us the programming, and we're going to put an if statement. Here we're going to give us a zero if uh, the size of this A is not the size of B. So we'll say size of A. Okay, if the size of A is not equal to the size of B, okay, then we're going to return a zero. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to say otherwise. We're going to add a line. So it says give me a zero if the size of A is not equal to the size of B. Otherwise, let's calculate the result. So we'll say for i, oops, what happened there? Oh, okay, let's see here. This is, I, I can't write for, I have to actually go to the programming palette. I'll do for, and then we'll say i from, actually remember MathCAD is zero based indexing. So we'll say zero to the, um, and we don't wanna, we wanna do, um, okay we want to do I so for I equal ooh. okay so we'll do from as I goes from zero dot 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 or maybe I do semicolon as I goes to zero to the row rows of A and we might have to fix this I think yeah this is uh, ah here we go this is what we need to do range variable oops we just screwed all that up okay, come back here so from I contained to 0 to the rows of A and we need another loop here which says for J that's zero 
range variable dot 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 to the calls of B that means the columns of B then give me a C which it doesn't matter that this has the same name C and C because this C is going to get assigned inside of the program and it doesn't affect this C that's outside of the program. So we're going to say C I oh, we're going to come here and say C and we need to do open bracket I comma J and that is equal to A open bracket I comma J and then we have to get out of that little subscript so we can do control space and that brings this blue bar up say plus and then we go to our B and then we'll do I oops we need to do open bracket to give our subscript and then we'll do I comma J oops what is that what I got a P all right I comma J and then down here we'll say otherwise for I from 1 to 0 and for J 1 to 0 then give me C I J and then we need to return our result and our result is going to be our C matrix all right uh oh we got something out here okay so size this variable is undefined trace error we don't know what this is what is the size of a matrix and so this is what we do when we don't know the answer we say size of matrix math CAD so if we can't find it really fast okay control F do size calls rows lengths last so size length last so length last size of a vector size of a matrix do we have not one command that gives us both impossible all right, now we're actually going to go back to MathCAD's help and see if we can't figure that out. All right, so help. Let's see here, MathCAD help. Help. Vectors and matrices. Calculating with arrays, matrices. Vector and matrix functions. Okay, this is the same thing that we just saw. So columns and rows has to be the size. Okay, so what we have to do if, if, now we're going to make a compound statement. We're going to say if the rows of A are not equal to the rows, rows of B, and we're going to actually put this in a, I wonder if we can put these in parentheses here. Hmm. So if the rows of A are not equal to the rows of B, We really need, and we we need to do an and, okay. And, so we'll say and. Let's see if I can do this. And if the columns of A are, oh, it's actually it's an or, are equal to the columns of B then we need to return okay this 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 doesn't need to be an or and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get to the end of my my a and B here and I'm gonna put parentheses so this is gonna say if if this evaluates to true or one and actually what we want to do is we want to say if, if this is not equal or this is not equal then then we can't do it so we need to change this conditional here okay this condition this or and we need to make it an uh, if they're both not true okay so we need an and this is a not this is an and so oh sorry we need an or so this is a downward V so oops come back up here Okay, we'll say or. So this says if, and I need to, uh, they, they got rid of my parentheses. Maybe they're not necessary. I want to put parentheses around this to make sure that this evaluates here. So we have this evaluation. And then here, I'm going to hit control space to highlight that whole line. And then I put parentheses there. 
control space and parentheses here. So all I really have been doing is trying to get an if statement that says if the rows of A are not equal to the rows of B or the columns of A are not equal to the columns of B then they don't have the same size and we can't add them to each other. Alright, so let's see if this will work. Okay, so we don't have any more red problems uh, here and now we need to see if it actually works. So now I'm going to say C and I want to pass in two matrices A comma B and then I want to hit my equal sign to evaluate. And it says these, this array index is invalid for this array. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to go and trace my error. Okay, I'm going to go to the previous. Okay, this, this J. So it doesn't like this index for some reason. So maybe my J, okay, So it had no problem with this one. Hmm. Let me make sure that I enter this right. Can I do open bracket I comma J? And let's see. Doesn't like that. Hmm. The array index is invalid for this array. All right, so see we all have trouble sometimes. Now look, the rows of A is going to say 3. There's three rows of A, but our index can't go from 0 to 3. Okay, so what's happening is J is becoming 3, but actually should be go from 0 to 1 to 2. So I'm going to say from rows of A minus 1 to columns of B minus 1. All right, and then we get our result. Isn't that fabulous? And then we can test it. A, sorry, C, let me call this little c is uh, C colon equal, um, C colon equal A plus B equal to the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, equal to evaluate. So here we get the same thing, okay? So this is how we would program in MATLAB and in MathCAD. These are some basic uh, syntax and context that we would need. Oh, let's just make sure this doesn't work. I mean, this works if we do a different size matrix. Okay, so here they're the same. This is CAB. This is calculated with our function. And the reason we had a little bit of trouble there is because um, we were going from 0 to the rows of A. With the rows of A is 3, but because MathCAD is 0 based indexing, we were going from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. And MathCAD says, hey, wait a minute, you know, there's nothing there. You only have a 3 by 3 matrix, so you can't go to uh, A, A, 0, 3 because you know you're out of bounds because this is zero based indexing to fix that we just said for i equals zero to the rows of a minus one so that means it's going to go from zero to one to two all right and let's just make sure that this works <clears throat> if we kill this guy this matrix here and we put in a four by four okay or three by four or whatever Okay, we put them in, let's say, you know, one, two, one, two, three, 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 minus one, zero, three, nine, and we'll get an error. So here, that's our function. See, we have this if statement, so if the rows of A is not equal to the rows of B, or the columns of A are not equal to the columns of B, then give us a zero. Okay? Otherwise, uh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, go ahead and calculate the result. Okay? So this is an example of how we use some Boolean operations, how we use some built-in rows and columns functions, and how we assign values with the indexes. So this should help you a lot with your homework.